the actor and the Secretary of State for Health have become embroiled in a weeks-long war of words on Twitter after the former saw his appearance on The Andrew Marr Show. This is what it looks like when a man goes on TV and knowingly lies to the public. If I'm wrong at Jeremy underscore Hunt, sue me. I double dare you, the 37-year-old started, after hearing his comments on mental health provision. It took 10 days for Hunt to respond after claiming he had overseen the biggest expansion of mental health provision in Europe, which he was later called out on. The 51-year-old replied to the royal family favourite 4,300 more employed by mental health trusts, 2,700 more employed in talking therapies, 1,400 more people treated every day since 2010. ISNT it your job to find a major European country that's done better and faster rather than make assertions you can support I double dare you dot sick get it Jeremy Hunt and Ralph Little have come to blows Twitter Ralph Little called out Jeremy Hunt statistics Friday June 2nd 2017 Jamie Oliver v Gordon Ramsay Gordon mocked Jamie on the nightly show while Jamie compared his rival to a dementia sufferer this is what it looks like when a man goes on TV and knowingly lies to the public Ralph Little undeterred, after taking time to research, Little came back and warned his 121,000 followers so if statistics and facts aren't your thing and you only follow me for the silly jokes look away now, he continued if these are just boring stats for you and anyone else reading let me summarise. The mental health workforce in England is around 210,000 staff, therefore an additional 4,300 more employees, not necessarily doctors or nurses, is just a 2% increase over seven years. Meanwhile the workload increased by 28%, little added in real terms, almost a crisis. It certainly looks nothing like this manifesto pledge. Getty Jeremy Hunt angered Ralph Little on the Andrew Marr show to which Jeremy Hunt was faced with a lengthy response from Ralph Little. Hay also dissected Hunt's claims that 1,400 more treated every day since 2010 before summarizing the good news is, now that you and Twitter know that this statistic is total bulls, you won't feel the need to use it again. It may be difficult to categorically state we're doing better than other European countries, but but it's pretty straightforward to say that we are doing considerably worse than we were in 2010. Hunt added, Don't think I've ever called you names, even in the face of strong language about me that you can't now provide evidence for. Happy to meet up though if it's going to be a sensible conversation not Twitter screaming.